hey there, Chaska. Did Elder Alpa send you? Yeah, she's got other things on her plate right now. How are things looking here? Hmm, well, the inspection revealed numerous blockages all over the trial arena. It looks like they're the result of ley line disorders caused by repeat abyss invasions. Theoretically, we just need to clear those obstacles, and the arena will fill up with gaseous phlogiston again. But that's proving difficult to achieve in practice, for all sorts of reasons. Why don't you head on down and check things out for yourself? Feel free to ask the staff for more details. I think it should be possible to clear this spot with just a few hard hits. But uh, there are signs of strange life in here. Meddling with it might be dangerous. Yeah. Uh, uh, monsters! Wind strike! Transfixed! Let's try! <laughs> I thought I was done for. Oh, this spout should be good now. Thank you very much. How strange. Why is there so much solid flow just in here? Well, it could be from the children of Echoes. Maybe it got swept up here due to the ley line disturbances? And I did see those strange markings on the cliff. Ah, I can't think of a way to resolve this. <sighs> Short of going all the way to the Children of Echoes to borrow it to Petlisor. Are you here to help? Thank goodness. There's no way I could do all this by myself. So the blockage here has to be cleared using a special bomb, but carrying explosives up that steep slope would be a recipe for disaster. If I dropped it or slipped and fell, I'd be blown to bits in an instant. So my plan was to transport the bomb to the other side, then send it over in a hot air balloon. All I need now is for someone else to strike the balloon at the right moment, dropping the payload right on top of the spout, and problem solved. What do you think? Simple enough, right? Huh? Oh, that one! No, I've got no idea who that belongs to. Or how they got it up so high. I just wish I could fly up there and check out what kind of tech they're using. Ah, well. Getting the trial arena back in order is more important. I'll head over and set up now. Let me know when you're ready. All right, get ready. Take 
This is crazy. I put all of my strength into it, but it just won't break. Maybe Inkanak was right after all. If a stable structure is formed inside the solid phlogiston, I'll need to hit all the weak spots at the same time to break it. But how am I supposed to do that? Logistin is being replenished. Looks like a care of everything in no time at all. Incredible work. Now we just have to wait until the gaseous phlogiston is fully replenished. Then we can kick off the retrials. Hmm. Actually, Inkanak, I'd like to do a test flight first, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Could you arrange that for me? Huh? But you only just finished getting the arena ready. There could still be other hazards we're unaware of. All the more reason to have me test it out. Think of it as another inspection. Uh, I guess you're right. With your flying skills, you won't be in any serious danger, even if there are hazards we overlooked. The conditions in this area seem a little unstable, but a test flight is the only way to catch any lingering issues. All right, I'll get things set up for you. Just let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? This should be a piece of cake for Chaska, but still, try to be careful. All right, then spread your wings and fly. Let's fly. Are you ready? This should be a piece of cake for Chaska. But All right, then spread your... Let's fly!
was amazing. Paimon couldn't take her eyes off you! Hmm. No. Nothing major. Give it a few days, and we should be able to conduct the trials. Help! Help me! You're from the Flower Feather Clan, right? Please, come quick, you've got to help us! Catch your breath first. What's the situation? We were... we got attacked by a Kukasaur. My friends are still stranded in the middle of the road with the goods we were transporting. Please, I'm begging you, save them! Huh? Are Kukasaurs really that aggressive? Do they usually attack groups of people unprovoked? Not in my experience, but there are exceptions to every rule. Let's go check it out. Ouch! I've never seen such an aggressive cuckoo sore. Hmm? Tasca? Traveler? This is a surprise. Elder Alba? Huh. So, where's this aggressive cuckoo sore we've heard about? Already flew away. Looks like it backed off once it realized that reinforcements were coming. So why do you think it attacked these people in the first place? Was it after the food? No. These merchants are even transporting food. Ah! Oh, thank goodness! The phlogiston wings are intact! Phlogiston wings? Oh, thank you so much for coming to our rescue. These phlogiston wings? are our most prized goods. If anything happened to them, it would ruin us! Wait a minute. Are you the merchants that were looking to collaborate with us? Wormy told me about you. Yeah, that's us. So, I take it you're Elder Ulpa? I am. You must be exhausted from your journey. Not to mention shaking up from the attack. Let me bring you back to our tribe to rest. We can talk business after you've recovered. But Elder Alba, what about the Kukasaur attack? Well, our guests here weren't seriously injured, and their goods are intact. Perhaps that Kukasaur was just having a bad day. There are so many of them around here. You'd expect something like this every once in a while. I don't think we need to pursue it any further. More importantly, how are the preparations for the flying trials going? Is everything in order over at the arena? Huh? Did you say flying trials? <laughs> what a coincidence! Sounds like a perfect use case for our phlogiston wings. You'll be pleasantly surprised by what they can do. Oh, really? Now I'm intrigued. <laughs> well then, let's forget all about this Kukasaur attack for now. We have some serious business to discuss. So that's it? That all went smoother than expected? Well, guess we'd better get going. Uh, huh? Chaska? Hmm. A blood-stained feather?